Welcome to Texas Law Encounters, your home for raw police footage. Remember to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. And as always, enjoy the video. On Thursday, December 29, 2022, at approximately 1,400 hours, Officer Wang and Alanis of the Humble Police Department were dispatched in reference to a reported shoplifting incident at Dillard's located within the Deerbrook Mall. Upon arrival, Officer Wang made contact with the loss prevention officer, who informed him that two suspects had been detained for shoplifting. The complainant, a store security camera operator, had observed the defendants arrive at the handbag section of the store carrying their own personal bags. One of the defendants selected a handbag, keychain, and an Armani shirt, and concealed the items in her purse. Meanwhile, the other defendant selected a handbag and concealed it. The defendants then passed the final points of sale with the unpaid items. The complainant notified an off-duty uniformed deputy who was working an extra job as security for Dillard's, and who assisted in escorting the defendants to the loss prevention office as he contacted the humble police department. The total theft amount was determined to be $555. Man. I'm still recovering from that thing. Yeah, man. I'm I'm trying. Trying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sir. See you again. See you again. Uh, this one does right here. She's eight, she about 18. This is her ID for her. I have her This one, right? No. That's for the other one. This is 285. Yeah. So, all this, oh yeah, this is two. Uh, that was. This, uh, this one, yeah, do you have for her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, she's only this one? The yes. other one is um, 285. She's the 285. She's the 285. She's the 285 in the flyer. Okay. Is, is this included or no? No, this is, this is their purse. This was concealed in this purse. <coughs> this was concealed in this one. The brown one belongs to her. The light one belongs to her. Two seconds. Is there a receipt with the total? I'm going to call the DA. Same case with. Okay, I'll put I'll put it together. I mean, yeah. I'll just put in the, in the narrative who took what. Okay. But you can still print. Oh, Cindy. Yeah. Okay, and you are Alicia. Okay. You guys ever been arrested before or anything? Yeah. All right. So what I mean, what's going to happen is you're going to probably get a hundred dollar bond after several hours. And then you call family or friend to go downtown and pay the bond and then you guys can get released from the station but it's going to be a waiting process okay if you've never been arrested before and that's true oh, thank you what's that no you can't you can't pay for yourself while you're being in the jail like it's not possible you have to have yeah they, they have to bring it have to bring an id for a K-9 
chase them. Outside, I ran out to her, she threw the carriage, and my instinct was to grab the carriage, and there was all the merchandise was like, no baby. That was today? That was just now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. No, I mean, literally, before this one. Oh. She already ran out and got into her car and took off. Oh, okay. From the merchandise, so. That's cool, yeah. her property. Yeah, yeah. Hers? This is her property. This is her property, yeah, for that one. But uh, we got all the merchandise back, so. She had her car running. <laughs> you go. So this is. Yeah, this okay. is. Just, yeah, all that's her and then these two. Oh, oh this, so this, this is also hers? Yeah, this is, this is going to be now. This is, this is Cindy's first. This, so that this is what. This is the item that she was. Yeah, Cindy had this item. Yeah, this, this is Cindy's it. stuff. She walked oh. in. This is her okay. I just, I'm just separating what's. Okay, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. They'll figure it out. This goes over there. Yeah, this is uh, the. Yeah, yeah, okay. This in here, I put it back. No. Tell him to meet like at the. Thank you, Jacob. I'm going to never get used. 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 I'm going to Stand up for me. I gotta put you guys in handcuffs. <coughs> we'll get back to the station later. We're gonna have a female officer search you guys. Uh, is there anything on your body that we, sh we should be concerned about? Like, is there any more merchandise or anything like that? Okay, no narcotics or anything? No. Nice. Any, anything in your bras or anything? Still fit a finger, so my thumb, so I'm not trying to choke your wrist or nothing, but that's the best I can do. Follow this officer. Eighteen year old Alicia Nunez was arrested on one charge of misdemeanor theft. If convicted, she faces up to 180 days in jail. You only have 
funny. Or you can leave it here till you get out. As long as it's not past three days, they won't tell you. You only ran one name, Melanie's? Yeah. Okay, I'll run the other one. Who do you have? Leo? No, I have Nunez? Yeah, Nunez. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, shit. Hold on. Here you go. Back y'all's cuffs. Not you. No. Oh. The cuffs are gonna come off, but they're gonna another pair are gonna go right back on. Okay. for sure they're they're not very much user friendly you know but i figured you were already adapted to them seeing how some came off of you <laughs> she's like oh lucky me man what are y'all stealing what in the crap were y'all thinking today come on over here could y'all find i yeah i know why you arrested her Cause she's almost as tall as you. Here, I know your hand will probably come out of there. But do me a favor, okay? So I don't have to lock those down any tighter. Cause you have little bitty hands. Don't just don't slip them around, okay? You good? All right. I figured you'd be hating on people that were taller than you, not the ones that were like actually yeah, shorter. Yeah, like I hate on you. <laughs> Who's that on? Is that him that get on radio and use your number? Yeah. I was like, he what the? His voice. Boy, shakes the shakes. I was like, yeah. oh my God, dude. He's like, I made my Alanis impression voice. I said, you did not sound like me, dude. What is this, uh, AB? Nunez. They're both beasts. They're both beasts. Yeah, I think on our bookend, though, it's AB. Yeah. Yeah, AB. Yeah, okay. Couldn't separate it? Huh? Couldn't separate it? They're one's 200 something, the other one's like almost 200. Oh, okay. Well, um... it's like three something total. Oh. Yeah, but they got separate tickets. <laughs> They're both over. Oh, my Lord. I'm going to talk some nine kinds of junk to these. All right. Really? I ain't, hey, I ain't saying you're guilty of anything. That's up to a, a jury. But, really? Huh? Hang on. Something freaking rolling around over here. I can't hear anything. Say again. Oh, sure. So what's going to happen is we're going to take you over here to our jail, book you in on the charge of theft, and then they're going to do the charges and send them kind of like an email to the DA's office. And then from there, we wait for the DA to send back saying what your bond's going to be. Neither one of y'all been arrested? No, never. Okay. How old are y'all? Both of you? Okay. They'll probably give you a $100 bond. Okay. Um, so once we get you processed in, we'll put, uh, we'll give you, let you make a phone call, call your parents or whoever it is that you need to come get you out. Um, but it's not going to be ready for, 
eight to 12 hours, okay? So if you had any plans this evening, they're probably pretty much screwed up because it takes a little while. We're in Harris County. There's like a couple of hundred agencies that use the district attorney's office. They do the same thing as we do. So for them to go through probable calls and get everything done and everything else, it takes a little bit of time. But like I said, if you've never been in, you should be able to bond out of our jail with no problem instead of having to go all the way down to Harris County Jail and be processed in there. You don't want to have to do that if you can avoid it because it's usually like 24 hours in, 24 hours out. And we'll get there, well, I'll talk to you about some other things. I'm not an attorney. I don't represent myself to be as one. I'm just an old guy that's been doing this a long time, okay? So kind of give you a piece of advice, whether you take it or don't, that's up to you. Okay. You want to hire an attorney and spend all the money on it, that's all up to you. But there are different avenues instead of having to spend a lot of money on something like this. And do y'all plan on going to college? Well, the way it would affect you is if you needed any type of like government assistance, like financial aid. That could, a theft charge is a, is a crime of what they consider a crime of moral turpitude, okay? If you don't know what that is, that means you don't really care about what, what's wrong or what's right, even though you have knowledge of what's wrong and what's right. And it kind of puts you in the same level as somebody that would beat their spouse, okay? The, in the eyes of potential, like, government aid and things of that nature. So, and if you ever got a job dealing with money or something like that, or wanted to get a job dealing with it, that could hinder you as well. Well, I'm going to get your job information, but I'm not... We're not calling your job, okay? Ma'am? Hey, Panda? Oh, okay. I like Panda Express. That orange chicken? Y'all probably don't care for it, right? Well, they have other stuff, like, what was it, the cookies and stuff in that one? Yeah. That's pretty good stuff. But I can see, trust me, I, well, it didn't really hinder me. When I was in high school, I worked for Pizza Hut. And I still could eat the hell out of some pizza. That don't bother me. But Pizza Hut and Domino's, they changed over the years. Went, like, gluten-free and all that. And they don't taste the same as what they did when I was a kid. So, only thing that, say, that tastes now like that is Marco's Pizza. What pen do you work at? Okay. They have a Marco's um, down 1314, and then they have one off of uh, Kingwood Drive, I think it is. No, North Park. 22, I'm not 13, you clip friend. Come on, oh, I forgot I buckled in. Watch, so I'm gonna. What the hell? All right. Thing was acting like we were hitting bumps or something. Let's go around on that side. Which purse is yours? This one, turn around. All right. Hang on, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Yeah. All right. 
I don't think either one of these go with my eyes, so I'll let y'all carry y'all stuff. <laughs> Well, <laughs> Duke. All right. Why you got them? I got two sticky fingers. All right. Well, first off, see if you can slide your hand out of there. You said what? See if you can slide your hand out of there. She got like little tiny hands. <laughs> Almost. Okay. I just didn't know if I got if it actually could or could not. I told her when I put her in, I said, you probably slide your hands out of there, but don't do that. <laughs> probably wouldn't be a good idea. Well, it would make me look bad. We pull up here and you're getting out and opening the door for yourself or something. Thank you. No, you got to stay in those. I'm playing turn. <laughs> All right. Go forward. I'm taking them straight in there to start the booking. I don't want to. I don't like doing it in there when I can do 90% of it right here. Okay. And I figured that'd help out Junior in there. All right, all your jewelry, hair bands, all that good stuff, except for your glasses. You can leave those on. Put them in You're your purse. It's too expensive to take them off. Ma'am? You're too expensive to take them off. Your glasses? Oh, you said glasses and lashes. Oh. oh. <laughs> I don't know how many I take. Well, yeah. Oh, I have to take my hair? Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. yeah, we don't fashion show in here. So. We don't what? Fashion show. No runway, no nothing like that. You're just going in here with plain like everybody else. As far as your lashes, I'm not really concerned with that at this point. I don't think they'd help you escape. What the hell is he doing our trash can? Mm -hmm. Oh my lord. Uh. You want to watch him a second? I'll get it. You need one? You need a cup? There's only so much I can swallow. I know what you mean. And then it gets to where it's like, eh. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like, no, no, thank you. Especially when it gets loose yeah. and you're swallowing granules, it's like, yeah. No, no. Off it up a little bit. Mm hmm. I'll be in my office. We might come in there and sit with you. Like my grandma. Yeah, it's no, no, for real. Like my grandma. Hand or bracelet? Like we made, we got this together. It should be all right. Like it's. As long as, as long as you don't, as long as you oh stay here, God. you'll be all right. Okay. That's not as I stay here. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> I'll talk to the the yeah. on duty jailer here, and see if he's okay with it. I I don't have a problem with it. It's tiny. Where is it? But yeah, we can, if need be, we can cut your hand off and then it'll just slide it off and you don't have to break it. Yeah. I'm playing with you, don't <laughs> You're not going to find a lot of us that have been here like a long time that's like really serious about much stuff. You, you, you didn't steal from us. So like I tell people all the time, I don't like people that steal, don't take it the wrong way because that raises the cost of everything and passes on to the actual consumer. Not being ugly when I say all that, all I'm saying is, what I was telling you earlier, as far as there are different things, deferred judification is one. You have to understand there's like, I can tell you how many cameras within these, the mall over there, okay? So there's a lot of cameras. They get, Pretty much 99% of everything on camera. So if y'all were in there and they detained you and they're willing to pursue charges on you, especially a big department store like Dillard's or Penny's or something like that, they have 
the information what they need to take you to court. Okay. Don't let that deter you by no means. If you feel like you can beat the case, load up, get you an attorney, and go try to fight the case. Okay. But you'll get a notification in the mail. It's a subpoena. And on that, it'll tell you what you need to do as far as getting preparation. Well, let me back up. When you get bonded out, you're going to get a notification when your court date is, okay? Now, you can go, I was looking at a different way of thinking y'all are juveniles, but y'all aren't. You'll go down there, you'll have a chance to talk to the district attorney if you want to, and get this resolved, okay? They don't care. I'm going to tell you straight up. They want commitment. They want whenever they do their stats, I got a conviction, you know, so they can show that they're they're pro producing. All right, a class B misdemeanor is a low level offense. All right, so they're not looking at it, oh, I need to need to nail these people on class Bs. Okay, we'll walk in. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what they're looking at is this little stuff that what you are charged with getting it done, getting it over with, they don't have to spend time in a courtroom any much longer than what they have to to get it resolved. Turn this heat lamp off real quick. Um, so basically, if y'all go in there and basically ask for it, chances are they're gonna approve it just for the mere fact you y'all haven't been in any trouble, okay? Yeah, so this way, it'll show you were arrested, okay, but it'll never show a conviction on you. So like basically now what? Like basically what's going on? I was gonna start the booking on these. Okay. I have a What the shit the hell is going on here? I'm Go still ahead. dealing with uh just clothes out of that and I'll have to, it's a mess. I'll explain it. Basically Montgomery County said, Yeah, we got Wendy Warren to go up there and get him and I'm saying, No, that ain't me. So you felt ID in Montgomery County? Apparently. Well, that's, that's easily resolved. Call Montgomery County up. Say, well, hey. It's funny because the name he's giving me has warrants in Harris County anyway. So, yeah. So it, it doesn't matter. Which well, what kind of warrant? About that because he said he had warrants. So is it yeah. misdemeanors no. like C's or is it? No, it's like like Class B theft. Oh, okay. And so why would you want Class B theft rather than theft rather than traffic tickets? <laughs> so I don't know why you would lie about that. I don't know. Yeah. Well. Because a lot of people would rather lie than tell you the damn truth to begin with when the truth is easier. Hmm? So, this. we are. So, anyway, what I was explaining to you is they'll put you on like a probation, okay? However long the probation is, it could be 60 days, it could be 160 days, okay? At that point, I mean, it could be longer, I'm just saying, you know, just a very time frame. But at that point, they'll tell you, as long as you don't screw up during your probation, you do what the, the terms and conditions of your probations and you pay for your court costs, after your probationary period, it never gets filed with the state as far as a conviction, okay? They get this claim as a conviction, Y'all get this claim, but it, it, it can go away, okay? So later on... Maybe this whole thing could go away. Say again. So like it won't, let me see, would it like affect their arrest or anything? No, it'll show that you were arrested, okay? But it won't show that you were convicted because it'll say on your criminal history is like a deferred, okay? But what it does, it does give you the opportunity later on after you're off your probation and everything else to hire an attorney or do it yourself, it's either or. If you hire an attorney, it's about 1500 bucks to get it expunged off your record. And then there's nothing. And as the law reads, is you never have to admit to being un arrested in, as long as you're not under oath. So if you're on a witness stand and they go, have you ever been arrested before? You're under oath, you'd have to say yes, okay? But in a job interview, have you ever been arrested before? Negative Charlie, okay? You understand what I mean? Yeah. Because they run a criminal history on you and all that stuff's gonna be sealed and done. Okay. Even our records here would be sealed and done. Oh, okay. okay. We might have you in our RMS, but it won't show us anything. It just shows who you are. Okay. Okay? Thank you. <clears throat> so if that helps you out any at all, that's an option that you are, that you will have.
Thanks for watching Texas Law Encounters. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so that you don't miss any of our new content. If you enjoyed today's footage, consider sharing. And as always, we'll see you in the next Raw Police Encounter.